So the GROW movement uh, is a movement that the Lord gave to me. When it started, I was, and this is just a little history. Uh, when I started, I was going through the worst time in my life. I was going through the most tumultuous time in my life. And um, I was going through a divorce and I had been married for 15 years. I have three amazing children. Uh, I was married for 15 years and I was ashamed. I was hurt. I felt guilty as a parent that I failed my children. I was devastated and I did not want to talk about it. I didn't want to share it. I didn't want to speak on it because of how shameful a place it put me in. And my bishop came to me and said, it's time for you to start what God already gave you. He didn't know. I didn't tell him. Uh, but the Lord knows how to position us exactly when we think we're not ready. We are at our least. And that is when God is at his most. That is when he is at his best, because the word says that his strength is made perfect in our weakness. And so sometimes God has to put us in the weakest spot. And then he says, yeah, I'm ready to use you now. And you like, God, how you going to use me uh, in the midst of all that I'm going through? And that is when birth, uh, that is when grow, the grow movement was birthed. And um, it is a godly remnant of overcoming women. And that is because I was fighting to stay godly in a time where I wanted to fall out, where I wanted to uh, show out, where I wanted to, you know, hurt somebody else. And I had to fight to stay the godly woman that he he chose me to be. I had to overcome what I was going through. And what I realized in that season is that there was a community of women that we're dealing with some of the same issues. And sometimes we feel like we're in something alone when the truth of the matter is there are people all around you that are going through things just like you are. And so um, in that season is where God began to encourage me. And I said, Lord, I don't want to tell my story till I overcome. I, I don't want to tell. I, I feel like I don't have a testimony till I come out of what I'm in. And God said, no, I need you to talk your way through it. That's what I need you to do. I need you to talk your way through it. And that is exactly what Grow did for me and did for so many other women. And so I am grateful for, uh, for the Grow movement. Happy anniversary to my grow family, to my grow girls. Y'all already know I love y'all. And congratulations, P, on 10 successful years in ministry. I've said it before and I'll say it again. 10 years ago, grow was a lifeline for me and it still remains one to this day. I am grateful for your sacrifice, your dedication, your hard work, your work ethic. Everything that you've sown into this ministry has helped me become a better person and I'm striving to become better daily because of your yes. I love you and I love our sisterhood. I'm grateful to be connected to so many like-minded men and women um, who strive daily to become a better person. We love you, P, and we need you. Keep going. Keep growing. I can't wait to see what the next 10 years have in store for us. You already know you stuck with me because only you could get me to do this video. I love y'all. To my sister, Pastor Timothy. I'm so elated. I'm so excited to celebrate this grow anniversary with you. Listen, it's been 10 years. 10 years of phenomenal growth, phenomenal development, phenomenal consistency, perseverance, resilience, because people don't know that sometimes we actually feel like giving up but you have showed incredible strength and endurance and it is my prayer that God is going to continue to grace you and bless you for this season of next and 
Um, I don't even think it's ironic that so many things are happening for us in the month of November. We decree and declare it as November. So make a request for whatever you want. God is going to manifest it. I love you. Congratulations. And keep plowing whatever you want from the Lord. It's in your reach. I love you. Hey, Tim. Happy anniversary. 10 years, girl. You did it. You hung in there. You made it to the 10th year. I love you so much. Today, we celebrate you and everything that you've done in this ministry. We celebrate the impact that you've had on thousands of, of women lives. Um, not just thousands. Let's just say women all around the world. You did that, girl. And we are so very proud of you. Listen, I have admired you, Tim, for so many years. Um, and I found out that you and I have a lot in common. We both have stories that, yes, we have told. Um, but even on the days that we have not opened our mouths to tell those stories, what comes out of your mouth what comes out of the well your well my god runs so very deep and i am so blessed to know you every time you open your mouth there's transformation that happens there's healing that has happened in women's lives and so i want you to know that i am one of the one of those women who have been truly blessed who, whose life have changed for the better and forever because of your yes, because of your yes, because of your yes. So thank you, Timony, so much for being authentic. Thank you for being bold and audacious. Thank you so much uh, for showing up. Um, even when you didn't want to show up, uh, you showed up anyway for us. We say Thank you. Thank you for even when you went through those dark seasons, you grew through it so that we can grow through it. And so we celebrate you today and everything that you've done in this ministry. But the best is still yet to come. I love you. I can't wait to see you soon. All right. Have an amazing time. Mwah. Hey, Grow family. It's Ty all the way in Texas. Just sending some love and excitement for Grow turning 10 years old, OMG. I remember when Grow first began and it is just so awesome to just watch Grow. Well, you know, Grow. I mean, women all over the land are being touched, including me. Hey, some men might be enriched too because Pastor Tim, you definitely give us a real on time word. You give us encouragement and your life is just a light to all of us. We love you keep growing and i'm excited about the future let's grow y'all happy 10 years Woo! happy 10th anniversary to grow to my girl my sissy my day one since junior high school high school um i love you beyond measures than words can ever express i am just so godly proud of you of all your accomplishments and when I tell you grow is such a godsend, um, you have helped me to grow, continue helping me to grow. And countless other young ladies um, that really needed your guidance, counseling, and your anointing. I mean, to look back and see this is the 10th year anniversary, I am one of the original Grow Girls. And I will always be. Um, this ministry, God has birthed in you. And from the beginning, I just saw God's purpose in it. And I just thank God for you that he given you the vision to carry out grow. And I mean, Tim, I mean, you don't understand that you have a special place in my heart. Always will. I mean, through you, I became an honor honorary um, Figueroa. <laughs> yes, I adopted you all. And um, I just love you all beyond words. And if anything, you know I got your back. Anything. You know, Jesus had a Peter too. So, and I'm licensed. So, with that being said, I'm always here. I will always be in your corner. Anything ever you need me, you just say the word, I'm there. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. 
Congratulations, Pastor Tim, on 10 successful years in the GROW movement. I am proud to say that I've been here all 10 years, and I thought that it was absolutely genius when we first started. Uh, because we as women, we need a safe space where we're able to discuss our issues. One of the most comforting things that I find is to for someone to say me too, so that you know that your situation is not bizarre, it's not unique. And somebody has gone through it that can help you get through, somebody's going through it so you can grow together. And then you can help somebody else that probably will go through it. And there's just some things that men just don't get. So we've had some amazing times. I've um, specifically liked the Jacqueline Gates series. It was so good, you had to run it back. And you brought the men in for that one with the love and relationships. I really enjoyed discussing the 10-year plan. These are things that you don't talk about in your regular ordinary church service. So I appreciate you. I certainly have grown in these past 10 years. So keep doing what you're doing. Happy anniversary and many, many more. Happy anniversary, Grow, and happy anniversary to you, Pastor Tim. I am so grateful, so grateful for your life. I'm grateful and I thank you for your yes for answering this call and continuing on in your journey. Thank you so much for starting the Grow Movement and I'm so glad that it's still taking place where I was able to come in and join it uh, as well as a lot of other new people who's they still have the opportunity to join such a great movement regardless of if they was able to start 10 years ago, one year ago, two years ago, or about to start now. You know, it's still going and it's still uh, still an amazing ministry, Grandma Woman, which is your mission. Um, again, uh, it, I'm one of the women that you have grown. Uh, you already know when I was going through my wilderness, couldn't see my way out of it. Definitely getting weary, discouraged, and you just preached me to life. You preached me to life through your service, through your sermons, and I'm forever grateful to you for that. I'm grateful to be under your leadership. I'm grateful that, you know, you're my pastor. Uh, you know, you're my inspo, my sister, my friend. And I don't take it lightly being under your ministry. And, you know, I'm willing to do whatever we got to do. Whatever you need me to do. I'm here. You already know. Just call me. Let me know. And I'm there. <laughs> but again, thank you again so much. Um, Hi everybody. I want to first congratulate the Grow Girls and the Grow Movement for 10 years of just being able to have good girlfriends and have good girl time and have um, just memorable, such memorable experiences, even if we're not meeting in person, just to know that when we get a call that uh, we have a support system and we have um, a system where we can trust our uh, life's issues and, and just things that we just want to share and talk about and be excited about and even get clarity on. Um, just being able to have grow these past 10 years has literally changed my life. I have been married um, for 10 years and um, the fact that I've had, I became a mother um, during grow and, and, and so many things have happened to me during the course of the last 10 years. And I was just sitting reflecting on how uh, much grow has played such an extremely important role in all of those aspects of my life and helping me to navigate through those things. But I have to speak to my sister, my one and only blood sister who is my hero. She is my strength. You are my goals. You are my uh, inspiration. You are my aspirations. You are everything um, to so many people. But to me, you were always the first to do it. You were always the one before me. You were always the example for me. And it has been my pleasure to support you um, through these years of just development. And it just always amazes me and all of us girls how you took something that the enemy probably meant for your bad and, and he, you took it and you um, developed something so powerful and something so strong in all of us, something that we all can be proud of. And so today and every day and all of this year, we want to celebrate you and we want you to know we are not going to let you get away easy. We are not going to let you not celebrate this milestone. And we just want you to know that you are so special and so important to us. We love you. 
I love you. I thank you for sticking it out. Thank you for being a great mom. Thank you for being a great sister, a great daughter, a great pastor. And I just want you to know I will be here. I will be here if nobody else is there. You already know what it is. If everybody else walks away, you know you're going to be all right because I'm here. I love you. Happy 10 year anniversary to the Grow Movement and to my one and only sister. I love you. Hey Tim, happy 10 year Grow anniversary. I can almost remember when we sat down, you, myself, and all of the other girls to strategize on what the Grow Ministry would bring to the women of Christ. I am so excited to be a part of the Grow Legacy. I want to wish you and all the Grow Girls around the world a happy 10-year anniversary. And I'm so excited to see what the Lord has in store for Grow over the next 10 years. I love you. Grace and peace. I am Pastor Jacqueline Giggs, and I have come on the line this afternoon to salute and shout out and celebrate my co-labor in the gospel, uh, a friend, a sister, Pastor Timony Figueroa. God bless you and happy 10th anniversary of the GROW movement. You are a movement. You have been impacting lives, be it on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of the digital platforms, your church all over the world, be it a song, your preaching gift, anything, your ministry of helps that you could find yourself to do, you have done it. And so today we come back to say thank you. I want everyone to get their phones out, their laptops, those that are watching online, and we're going to sow. The Bible says that as the earth remains, there will be seed, time, and harvest. I believe this is the time of her harvest. So we want to earmark a seed to her. We want to sow and tell her thank you. Of the 70, only one came back to say thank you. Well, Pastor Timony, you have more than one coming back to say thank you. Bible says some 30, 60, and 100. I'm going to sow a $100 gift. Her cash tag is dollar sign Timony Figueroa. But this special anniversary, we want you to earmark it in a memo and say Tim 10, T-I-M-1-0, Tim 10. We're celebrating her and saluting her. Why? Because there's a partnership between the seed and soil. She's good ground. So we believe if we plant the seed, God will grow the seed. We love you and we want you to know you're one of the finest gifts in the kingdom. I pray God overflow you. What is the cash tag? Dollar sign Timony Figueroa. What is the tagline? Tim 10. Happy anniversary. Hey there, it's Erica Campbell. Congratulations, Timony and Grow. I love you so much. I love your ministry. I love your heart for God. I love your desire to literally see women grow into all that God has for them. I think you're such a beautiful woman of God. I praise God for your anointing and for your gift. May God continue to bless you and all that you do. I love you and your whole family. I cannot wait to be with y'all again. Y'all celebrate big, okay? Love you, Tim. Pastor Tim, excuse me. Congratulations to you, Pastor Tim, on 10 years of dedicated service, building, supporting, and pouring into the women of the Grow Ministry. It is such a wonderful thing to have witnessed you grow and mature from a little girl to the phenomenal woman you have become. I pray God's continued favor over you and the GROW ministry. I applaud and encourage you, Pastor Tim, to keep on growing by leaps and bounds. God bless you. We love you. Hey, Timony, it's Vanishka, and I want to say happy 10 years of GROW. I'm just so grateful for uh, you creating a space for women to be able to gather, to be able to uh, know their purpose. I believe that grow was a seed in my life in a time that I really, really needed it. And I'm grateful because you have been a voice in my life that I will forever cherish, that I am forever grateful for. I'm really excited for the next 10 years and what God is getting ready to do. I love you. Happy 10 years. Hey, Pastor Tim, this is Pastor Wallace, and what a delight it is to be able to celebrate you the 10th year of what grow. 
Wow, it's been 10 years. I remember, I think I was actually the first anniversary speaker. And so it's still an honor to be able to celebrate you and to encourage you and to say that you have done amazing, an amazing job to bring women together and to grow women and to be transparent with women and to express not just all your good times, but the times that were hard and complex. But no, this is your season. So put on your good shoes, get that red lipstick out and do what? Celebrate. It's 10 years. So grow, grow and watch what God's going to do for you and through you in this next season of grow. I love you much. Whatever I can do, I'm always ready for grow. Talk to you soon. Bye. Congratulations, Timony. I am so proud to call myself a grow girl. I watched you grow and prosper all of these years. I pray that God continues to bless you, bless this ministry because it's been a blessing to me and so many like me. I'm so thankful for your entire life. 10 years is big and I'm looking forward to 10 more. I love you and congratulations again. Hey everybody, this message is for Pastor Tim. Pastor Tim, I just want to wish you a very special and happy 10th year grow anniversary. Like, I remember the beginning days. I remember year one. Speaking of year one, I actually want to share something with you. I was doing some cleaning the other day, and I came across this flyer. The flyer of the first year grow anniversary. This night was unforgettable, unforgettable. And here we are nine years later. Like I literally remember this night, like it was yesterday. I remember year one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here we are a decade later. I still have endless voice notes of just recordings from services. I just thank you for listening to the voice of God. I thank you for being obedient. Your voice has saved and changed the lives of so many. And I just wish God's blessings upon you and the GROW ministry. Thank you so much. Happy anniversary. Love you. D. God's remnant of overcoming women. Wow. Tim, it's been 10 years. 10 years. I couldn't miss this opportunity to say thank you, to congratulate you on 10 years of GROW. It's amazing how God works and how he used you uh, during the season in all of our lives when we all just needed to grow. And we thank God. I thank God for your diligence. I thank God for your intentional works. I thank God for your consistency and your trust and believe in God. Clearly, consistency yielded results. And we thank God for 10 years, Tim. I'm so honored. We thank God for your testimony. The Bible says we are overcome by the words of our testimony. And your testimony helped us to overcome together. We thank you. We love you from your girl, Trish, always and forever. Your sister, I love you. God bless you. I love you. May many, many more years come. And we look forward. We look forward to seeing you on bigger platform, on billboards, and things like that. I love you, girl. Hey, hey, happy anniversary. 10 years, you're doing your thing. Tim, I love you. Now listen, it's easy for some people to start a thing. The hard job is to keep it going. 10 years, grow has been on the move, and I'm so very proud of you. I'm looking forward to year 25. And we can dance together. Happy anniversary. I love you. God bless you, Co-Pastor Timony. Uh, this is Elder Vaughn, and I am just so happy and encouraged and in awe of what God has done for you and grow. Congratulations, everybody. Look at what hard work can do. Look at what dedication can do. Look at what discipline can do. Look at what love Look at what love for God's people and love for God can do. I salute you, my sister. I celebrate you. I celebrate all of the GROW members. I was an official member. I still consider myself a member, but I remember from whence you have begun and look at you now and look at what God is doing. Um, I have a tree that's outside of my front yard, outside of my window. And I have watched this tree from the inception from when it was planted 
planted to where it is now. And I sat in amazement of it this morning while I was looking at it and thinking about the different cycles and the different changes that it goes through and how it has to uh, lose some things and how it has to shed some things all for the purpose of growing. And that is what you have taught us. That is what we have seen with the grow movement. You have been a living example of what it means to expand, what it means to go through cycles and what it means to come back producing even more than what you did when you first begun. You are a tree and you are a pillar. This is a great movement and I pray God's greatest and richest blessings to be upon you as you continue to grow, you continue to expand. The leaves have to fall. The bark has to come off so that you can get something new so that you can do produce even more so that you can bring more shade and more comfort to those that are weary, to those that have been out in the sun too long, the sun of life and getting burnt by the things of life. You provide the shade. You provide the shelter and you provide the comfort. Congratulations, my sister. I love you so very much. God bless you. God bless you. This is Archbishop Eric Figueroa Sr. And I happen to be the covering for the Grow Ministry. And of which my daughter, Pastor Timony Leanne Figueroa, is the creator and uh, she has done a marvelous job over the course of these last 10 years. Timony, you are phenomenal. An extraordinary preacher, teacher, singer. You're a church all by yourself. And what you have imparted unto others is worthy of celebration. Keep it up. We know we've had some challenges through COVID, but God's going to do it for you in 2022. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate the GROW movement, godly remnant of overcoming women, and its leader, my precious daughter, Elder Timony Figueroa, co-pastor of New Life Tabernacle. Certainly the Lord has blessed you these 10 years. The number 10 biblically represents God's authority, his completeness, his order, and his divine perfection. And certainly the GROW movement has exemplified all of these things. We are so proud of what the Lord has done. COVID has set all of us back, but we're moving forward, we're trudging through, and we're growing in the grace of God. So continue to move, continue to flourish, continue to blossom as the Lord stands with you. For if the Lord is with you, he's more than the whole world against you. I love you. Be blessed in all that you do. May God continue to move in your favor as you grow in grace. Mom, Pastor Tim, I just wanted to say how proud of you I am of your 10 year anniversary with Grow. Um, I remember, you know, when you was coming up with this and, you know, you was crying, you were praying, you were fasting, you know, looking for something to help the women in our church, help the women in gospel period and the women of the world. And I think you've done more than that. And um, I'm just super proud of you. Uh, I remember the days of you fasting and crying and, you know, Mondays were, Mondays at the first of the month were very rough because, you know, you was just so stressed out and you wanted to, you know, truly make a difference and make an impact and you have. And I know that God is going to bless you for it. He's already blessed you, but I know he's going to continue to bless you. I love you and happy anniversary. Yo, what up, guys? I'm in Argentina right now, but I had to stop and congratulate my mother on the 10 year anniversary of GROW. I remember when she first started this project and she first started this idea and she didn't know how it would go. She didn't know how people would respond to it. But to fast forward 10 years later and to see how many people she's touched and how many people she's blessed, it's really amazing to see. Mom, I'm so proud of you. You've worked so hard, you've been diligent. You've stayed prayerful, you've put in the work, and now it's paying off. It's only up from here. I love you. Congratulations. 
praise the Lord everybody. Um, I wanted to come on here and make my contribution to the Grow 10 years. I am so just amazed by how long Grow has lasted and how it's been so impactful to many, many women's lives over the years. I want to say I am so proud of my mother, Pastor Timothy Figueroa. I'm so proud of you and how you've worked so hard to be able to impact and affect other people's lives. And um, happy 10 years, Grow. Congratulations to this amazing woman of God on achieving this milestone in her journey. We are so, so proud of you. We love you so much. You're an amazing pastor. You're an amazing daughter. You're an amazing mother, an amazing friend. You're, you're just amazing. We love you so much, and we can't wait to see what you have in store for the future. This is for you. I haven't forgotten what I promised you. I have not known.